Hi beautiful souls, welcome back to our channel. It's Cade and I am back with another pick a card reading. Guys, before we get started, I just want to give a huge thank you. We hit 6,000 subscribers, which is so like mind blowing. It's so incredible. It's so amazing that these pick a card readings and these messages are resonating with that many people. That is just so awesome. And um, I just want to thank you guys. Like that is just like, thank you so much for subscribing to our channel. And thank you to anyone that is new here. Thank you for clicking on this video. I just wanted to give a huge thank you and shout out to everyone that has subscribed. That literally means I don't know, it means the world to us. Like, that is so incredible. I'm so glad these messages are resonating with you, and I just want to say thank you, okay? I just wanted to get that out before we get started, okay? Today's pick a card reading is going to be Who Will You Marry? Guys, I have literally been looking through the comment section. I see um, your comments, and so many people have requested this video. So, and I've been wanting to do this for a long time, so I thought today is the perfect day to do a Who Will You Marry? Like, I'm just so excited about it. So we're going to be tuning into like, what your person might look like, um, when you might meet them, their personality traits, where you might live, um, just stuff like that, okay? I'm going to kind of be doing the whole nine yards, everything, okay? Personality, looks, um, how they're going to treat you, and everything like that, okay guys? So stick around if you want to know about that. Um, also before we get started guys, um, I am going to be channeling very specific messages like um, about their looks and their personality, and um, it might not resonate with everybody, but um, it is a general reading. So just kind of take what resonates, um, and yeah, and let the rest slide, okay? If it doesn't resonate, then just let it kind of slide and just take what you can from this video. So, before I get started, I just want to go ahead and give a quick little rundown of how I like to do these pick-a-card readings. So for each pile, I like to um, tune into them intuitively. I like to use my spiritual gifts and get channeled messages um, from spirit, okay? I do shuffle tarot and oracle cards, but I like to read the cards intuitively and go a little bit deeper than just the description of the card, okay? And I also want to say, guys, I'm going to be using two new oracle decks today. I just want to um, show them to you. The archetype cards, guys, these are so freaking awesome. There's 80 cards in here, so we're going to get a shit ton of messages from these cards. I just know it. And I'm also going to be using the sacred traveler oil. Uh, Oracle cards, I can't speak, like, uh, but the Sacred Travel Traveler Oracle cards um, to get some messages as well today. Okay, guys? Um, so, um, before I get started as well, make sure to follow us on Instagram, guys. I'm going to pop those up on the screen, and all of that information is going to be linked down below. Also, make sure to check out our spiritual shop. It is www.divinespiritualgifts.com, and that shop is also going to be linked down below as well. So, let's hop into the piles. Okay, so we have three piles here today, and so just think of the question, who will you marry, okay? Because that's what we're going to be basing this reading off of today, so just kind of think of that question um, as you pick your pile, okay? So, the first pile we have is going to be the good tarot, guys. This is going to be pile number one, the good tarot, okay? Pile number two is going to be Tarot and Wonderland. So this is going to be pile two here. And pile number three is going to be the Guardian Angel Tarot. So here's the three piles. I'm just going to hold them up for you guys. So take a deep breath in. Meditate if you have to. You can pause the video. Ask your spirit guides, okay, what pile is meant for you on who you will marry. So yeah, guys, um, all the timestamps are going to be linked down below, and um, make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and move on to pile number one, and I will see the rest of you at your pile. Hi, beautiful souls that chose pile number one, or the good tarot. Welcome. This is going to be your reading on who you will marry. Okay, guys, so excited about this video. It's been highly requested that I do this. So welcome, pile number one. We are going to tune in to what your person's going to look like, what the personality is going to be, how they're going to treat you, and all of that good stuff, guys. So let's hop into this reading for pile 
number one, okay? So let me just kind of tune into your energy pile number one on who you will marry. Let's see. Okay. Let's see if we can get a little channel message going here. Okay, so spirit, who will pile number one marry? I'm hearing someone named Morgan, guys. I don't know. I feel like this is a very specific message. I feel like your name could be Morgan, okay? Um, or this person's last name could be Morgan, okay? But take that how it resonates. I'm channeling the name Morgan. So your person could possibly na be named Morgan. I'm hearing they're going to have really long, luscious hair, guys. So whether this be male or female, I'm getting like very dark hair that's long. So if they're a guy, I'm definitely channeling that they're going to have long hair, guys. Um, and I feel like it's going to be either dark brown or straight up black hair. Okay, like jet black, like super black hair, super dark hair, guys, I'm picking up on. I'm hearing they're going to tease you a lot. This is definitely going to be, I'm channeling, like, someone who's a class clown, guys. They're definitely going to be super, like, um, I'm getting a Sagittarius vibe. That is the sign that I'm channeling and that's coming to me. They're going to be, like, a jokester, okay? So, this person's going to have a very, like, um, not so serious outlook on life is what I'm getting. Like, I'm hearing the mortgage, like they're not going to be that person that is going to constantly stress about paying bills or like constantly stress about like money and like materialistic things. Like this person has a very outgoing, positive outlook on life. So if you're a person that stresses about money constantly, you're definitely not um, going to be marrying anyone that is like that. Okay guys, this person is super outgoing, super fun. I'm getting a class clown vibe. So y'all like... Like, this person's going to make you laugh. So that's how you're going to be able to spot out this person. Like, it's not going to be anyone that you just kind of talk to and have this casual, like, connection with. Like, when you talk to this person, they're going to freaking make you die laughing. Like, that is just what I'm getting. I'm here, Like, I heard they get in trouble a lot. Like, y'all, this person, like, what is coming to me is, like, the vision of, like, being in class. This is the person that, like, throws paper balls across the room. I, like, I don't know why, but, like, when I used to go, when I went to high school, like, I'm still in high school, but I, um, I'm thinking back to when I was in, like, 11th grade, and, like, these people used to take pencils and, like, throw them in the ceiling. Like, this is that person. Like, this person is so, like, like a troublemaker. Like, y'all, they are, like, this person is, like, I don't want to say stupid in that way, but, like, you might think they're stupid sometimes. Like, why the hell would you just do that? Like, I don't know. This person takes risk. Okay, they're going to be, like, a daredevil. Like, they're going to be super, like, but I'm hearing super attractive, guys. This person, I'm getting the visual. They're going to have such a nice body. Like, oh, my God. I feel like this person's going to be really into working out. And the sign that is coming to me is, like, Sagittarius. I feel like it could also be a Leo or an Aries. I am getting fire sign just because of how outgoing they are. They could be a rising fire sign, okay? Okay. Let's see what else we can pick up. Who will pile number one marry? Your best friend. Like, y'all, this person's going to make you laugh. This is not going to be... Like, I've seen people get married, and it's like a business type of relationship. Like, they don't really get along. They don't really make each other laugh. This is definitely not going to be the case. This is going to be like a best friend type of connection. Like, the main message coming through is just like... This person never, you're never going to have a dual moment with this person. Like, if you have kids with this person, you're going to go to, like, I'm hearing Disney and on trips. And this is going to be, like, the fun dad. I'm hearing the fun dad. This could also be a female as well. Gender does not really matter. But the personality trait that I'm picking up on is just super, like... I don't know, like, they don't care about, like, much. Like, they don't, they're not superficial. They're not artificial. Like, they just want to have a good time in life. Okay, so let's see what else we get. Pile number one, who are they going to marry? I'm hearing your coworker, guys. So you could work with this person, okay? Um, I feel like this could also be someone that you went to school with, okay? And I'm also picking on someone that you've had a past life with, okay? So you are going to have a super, like, this could be a soulmate connection. Um, you definitely could go to school with this person or work in the same field because I'm hearing you guys are either going to be getting the same degree or you're both going to be working towards your degree. So like what that means is like 
you could have a degree and they also have that degree so therefore you like work in the same workplace I am picking up on that like you work in a similar field okay like you're in the same job or profession I'm hearing this person's gonna like to climb okay rock climbing is coming up here so you could live in like a very mountainous area just take that how it resonates I'm not really thinking of any specific places but like there could be a lot of hills where you live okay this person's gonna be like a uh, like they're gonna be like very athletic okay so I'm getting that this person could have played sports like been on a sports team okay guys I'm getting like this person's gonna want to run a lot and then with the rock climbing they're gonna be like super like they're gonna have a nice body they're gonna work out a lot okay I'm hearing they're gonna get you up out of bed so I'm not saying that you never work out but it does kind of seem like you're a little more like introverted a little more bit more of a homebody and this person's gonna be like I'm getting like they're like jogging like come on let's go let's go out for a run okay like this is gonna be the person that wants to walk the dogs all the time I'm hearing I definitely feel like you could have animals with this person this you're definitely gonna have kids with this person this is not gonna be that you're definitely gonna have a family that is coming through definitely okay you're definitely gonna have a family with this person I'm hearing this person just has the type of personality that you just really gravitate towards, okay guys? And you know what's weird? Like this card deck has like these blank cards in them where you can write whatever you want. See guys, this person I feel like just has such an optimistic outlook on life. Like, I don't know, like they're just open to a lot of different things. I feel like they're gonna, they're not gonna be super set in stone, I feel like with their beliefs. I feel like they're gonna have a very open type of personality. I'm hearing they're gonna be very vulnerable with you as well. But this person is definitely going to be, like have a super, like I'm hearing alluring type of personality and a super attractive body. Like, there's something about their hair as well. So as I said, I got the channel message like long dark hair. I'm also getting kind of like hair like I have a little bit. Like this like kind of spiked up hair like that kind of flows back. Like they could live by the beach I'm hearing. Like you could see this person at a beach and see them shirtless. Okay guys. But they're definitely going to have a super nice body. I'm hearing a beach bod. Okay. Um, you're going to feel so like attracted to them physically I feel like at first too. I'm getting a big physical attraction with you and this person. Who is pile number one going to marry? See I'm hearing your best friend again. I'm hearing you're the type of person that kind of likes to stay inside. This person's more of a go-getter. Okay, guys, this person's a little all over the place. Um, where, okay, this is kind of what I'm picking up on. I feel like you guys could be a writer, okay? This person's really going to appreciate your work. Now, what this could also be saying, as I said, you could have similar jobs. You might both be writers, okay? And this card is, say, um, is saying preserving knowledge and information. So you definitely could go to school with this person. You definitely could be in class with this person um, or um, be um, like learning something um, with this person, like in the same type of degree where you're kind of learning the same thing. What I'm also getting from this person is just like, it's almost like you're kind of opposite. Like this card is giving me the vibes that you would kind of prefer to stay inside. You're a writer, you know. Why am I hearing this? This person I'm feeling is going to want to take a lot of field trips. Like this person doesn't feel like a homebody. They feel like every day you're going to be doing something new. And that's where I feel, oh my God, my voice guys, I'm so sorry. Like, oh my God. But I feel like this person is going to be like getting you out of the house. My voice again, like what the fuck is going on? But this person's going to want to be like getting you out of the house and you're going to be teaching them how to kind of stay in and keep, um, and stay in the house and be more of a homebody. Okay, guys? You're definitely like opposites attract is what I'm hearing. Like this person, I'm picking up that you could be a water sign, um, a Pisces, Scorpio, or a Cancer. Okay? Um, and this person being more like a fire sign. Like definitely like an opposite type of energy going on here. Let's see what else we can get. Who will pile number one marry? I'm hearing crying like you, you I feel like you guys cry I feel like you guys are water signs okay that's just coming through very strongly here you guys have a very emotional side where this person's a little bit more passionate and I think that's why you're gonna balance each other out you're gonna kind of help this person tap in emotionally and they're gonna kind of help you um, I'm hearing like tap into that sensual passionate type of energy like I feel like a lot of times you guys get into relationships where it's very emotional based, which I think is very healthy and very great for you. But this person I feel like is going to kind of help you tap into that more sensual, 
sexual side of who you are. Okay, guys, so it's definitely feels super balanced. This person is also going to have like a very type of persuasive kind of way about them. Like, um, you know, where usually people can't get you out of the house. It's like this person's going to be that kind of person that can get you to go do things and can kind of get you out and on and doing adventures, which is going to be super like weird to you. There's something, see, you're going you're gonna to be teaching each other things, this balance of like, they're going to be teaching you how to be an extrovert, okay? And you're going to be teaching them how to be a little bit more of an introvert. They're going to be teaching you how to be a little bit more passionate. And you're going to be teaching them how to be a little bit more emotional. Um, I'm hearing traveling by the sea. So this person could definitely live near water or you guys could just take a bunch, because look, this teacher is holding like a little world card. So you guys definitely could live like um, in separate parts of the world, okay? And there could be like a major cultural difference between the two of you is what I'm also picking up on. So that could be this teaching aspect too, like them teaching you about their culture and um, the other way around as well, you teaching them as well. Let's see if we can get some more cards for who pile number one will marry. You're going to kind of be frightened, I'm hearing, by this person's energy. Like, they, like I don't know. I feel like you don't normally date people like this. But this is going to be healthy for you guys. This is going to teach you a lot. Um, because, like, I, here's what I'm picking up. Like, you guys are super in touch with your spiritual side, with your emotions. I'm getting with this mystic card, okay? And, like, it's like you, I feel like, kind of can get into this hermit mode. I definitely feel like you're an introvert. I feel like you're definitely spiritual. And this person is like opposite from you. So it's almost kind of like you're going to be teaching this person about, you know, all your mystical stuff and emotions and stuff like that. And this person's going to be teaching you a little bit more about passion and stuff like that. Um, let's see what else we can get. Pile number one. Who will pile number one marry? You're definitely very creative. I definitely feel like you guys are writers, poets. Um, I'm hearing filmmakers. I'm hearing an incredible sense of humor. This person is going to make you die laughing. Like, oh my God. Okay. The only thing I'm picking up on, especially when this card just came out for some reason, this person could have a bit of a temper, okay? Which I, I don't think it's, I think it's gonna be fine. I think you're gonna be able to tone this person down because again, with this person being a fire sign, we, I'm hearing jolting, like this person's very like on the go. I feel like this person is very impatient, hence the Sagittarius. I know they're a very impatient sign, okay? And sometimes um, you're gonna have to kind of teach this person that they can't always get what they want is what I'm feeling. But I think it's a good thing, okay? Um, because I feel like this person is going to teach you how to be more of a go-getter and being able to get what you want in life. And um, yeah, I feel like it's a super balanced type of connection. Yeah, the full. This person has a very fun, spontaneous type of personality, guys, is exactly what I was picking up on in a full card coming out. Oh, wow. And then the love card. Wow. Um, this is going to be a super passionate connection. I am picking up on Leo here with this line coming out. But I do feel like you guys could be with the six here, could be life path number six. I feel like you guys are nurturers, kind of more in touch with your emotional side. And what I'm trying to get to is like this person is just like opposite from that. They're just like, they're like, they're more in touch with their more passionate, fiery type of energy. I'm hearing tell me more about yourself. So this person's going to be into whatever type of work you do, okay? You're going to be learning a lot from this person. Um, you're going to be teaching this person a lot, and I feel like they're going to be teaching you a lot. Okay, here's the only thing I'm picking up on. You are going to kind of, with this person, I feel like, have to set a little bit of a boundary sometimes. Because with Vampire, I do get that you guys need your time to be in hermit mode. Like, that's just point blank, period. If you guys do this spiritual work, you don't like to go out all the time. You need to recharge yourself, okay? And sometimes you might have to tell this person this, especially when you first start in this relationship, okay, guys? Because look, this gambler card, look, like, see this guy? He has a blindfold on and he's just like walking. That is your person. Like they're just like all over the place. And sometimes I feel like that can be hard to handle for you because I do feel like you have a little bit more structure in your life. Um, you're a little bit more of a patient person Person where this, this person's um, kind of opposite from that. Okay, let me see if I can get any more messages about how you're going to meet this person. 
I'm hearing you're gonna meet them on a Sunday afternoon, so you could also meet this person at church is what I'm picking up from that. I'm hearing on a boat, so you could meet them on a cruise, you could travel to another country. I am getting you possibly live in separate parts of the world. I'm hearing Christmas time. Christmas time could be super significant, and especially with that, I'm hearing, I'm, guys, this person is, for a lot of people, a Sagittarius, okay? You're also going to meet this person at a time in your life when you are very introverted, okay? When you have been stabbed in the back, okay? When you're not sure with the Ten of Swords and the Moon card, when you have been stabbed in the back, when you feel like closing off, this person's going to come in and help you heal that and get out of the house and move forward in your life. So it's almost like this person's going to come in in the perfect time in your life when you're not really sure how to move forward. This fun extroverted person helps get you out of the house and gets you out of your depression. Wow, this person is gonna open doors in your life. They're, this person I feel like is definitely gonna help you see brighter days. And I think this is gonna be so healthy for you guys because you know, I'm hearing you're a lone wolf. I feel like you kind of like to stay inside. You kind of like to keep to yourself, but I think it's a good thing that this person's gonna kind of come in and teach you all the opposites of what you are and you're kind of going to do the same thing to them. So I think it's going to be, and I'm hearing you guys are going to raise amazing children just because of these polar opposites, this, you know, water and fire, you know, this light and dark, this perfect balance, you know, you're going to be able to teach each other so much and just grow. Like, I feel like you're very connected to your emotions. Okay. And this person's going to teach you to be more passionate and you're going to teach this person to be more emotional. And it's just like this beautiful, opposites attract helping each other grow into your full potential is what I'm picking up on. So pile number one, I that was so cool. Like I feel like, oh my God, this person is just going to be so fun, have such a sense of humor, and I'm so excited for you guys that chose pile number one. Please let me know down in the comments if it resonated. Make sure to subscribe, click the notification bell so that you get notified every time we upload and like the video. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to pile number two. Hi beautiful souls that chose pile number two or the tarot and wonderland tarot cards, okay? Um, welcome, this is going to be your reading pile number two on who you're going to marry, okay? so. We're going to be tuning in to their personality, what they look like, and all of the above today. Okay, guys? So let's see. Who are you going to marry pile number two? I was picking this up before I even started um, on you pile number two, like when I was setting everything up. Um, this person's going to definitely be a musician or have some type of involvement in the musical industry or the musical field, okay? I am picking up that this person is going to be able to play guitar, and I was just picking up that they're going to be able to craft their words very well, guys. So I am picking up that this person might write you poems or might write you love songs, or there's going to be a strong connection to music and this person that you're going to be marrying pile number two. So who's pile number two going to marry? I'm hearing a beast. I feel like this person could be very hairy, okay? That is coming through like a trait of what they look like. I do feel like this person could have a lot of chest hair or a lot of body hair, okay? They could also have a beard or a lot of facial hair um, or a lot of hair right here, guys. But I do, I'm picking up, I'm hearing a beast. Um, I'm also kind of picking up from this beauty and the beast. So I'm almost kind of picking up that you might not put yourself with this person. Like you think about Belle and the freaking beast, you know, that could be kind of what this starts off as like, oh no, I never date that person or like, no, we're never going to be together. This is what that kind of feels like. Or when people look at you, they're like, wait, are you two together? And you're like, yeah, we're together. Like you might've never put yourself with this type of person. Like maybe I'm kind of picking on, picking up on that you usually kind of date the same person, like the same, you know, people kind of have a look or something, but this person's kind of going to be out of your comfort zone, you know, and you're going to kind of try something new is kind of what I'm picking up on. I'm picking up on a typewriter and when I pick up on that, it's something about writing. So again, I feel like this person could be a storyteller. This person could write. I'm hearing love songs to you. They could be a poet, a musician. This person is definitely going to have a connection. I'm hearing reading books. This person could also be a reader. Okay, reader, writer. This person's gonna love Christmas time. They could also be born around Christmas time. I'm also picking up on that you guys could be born around Christmas time, New Year's, like end of December, beginning of January. I am hearing Aquarius, guys. 
I'm hearing Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I feel like your person could definitely be an air sign. I'm getting like the vision of a plane flying, guys. So I do feel like there could be a physical distance between the two of you. Or you guys in general like to travel a lot, okay? Um, this person could also work on a plane, like be a flight attendant, is that I'm getting or at an airport, okay? You could meet this person on a trip, okay? I'm hearing the Cayman Islands. So this person could live like on an island, okay? I'm picking up on Hawaii, like, like right when I said that. This person could live near a huge body of water, okay? I'm hearing New Zealand, Australia. Who will pile number two marry? This person I feel like is definitely gonna have an accent, guys. I do feel like there's gonna be a bit of a cultural difference. And maybe that's why this person's like, wait, you're dating that person? Because you guys are so different in cultures, which I think is so awesome and so cool. Um, let's see. Pile number two. Who will pile number two marry? I'm hearing Christine. Okay, so your name could be Christina. Okay, your name could be... Um, I'm hearing Christian. It's like, it, I'm hearing like, almost like, this is gonna seem a little too good to be true. Like you could meet this person and they do live far away from you. Or like, they're so outside of your comfort zone. So you're gonna be like, am I really gonna marry this person? Or like, is this person really for me? And with the night here, I feel like this person is gonna be so romantic, guys. Like, so in their feel. Like y'all, this person is such a, they're not a player. That's not what I'm getting. It's almost like though, like they're just like a hopeless romantic. Like they're so romantic. Like this is the person I'm hearing like, ooh la la. Like they kiss your hand. You know, they propose, they bow down. They just love romance. I'm getting like, I'm just getting like this, like very passionate about romance. Okay. And especially guys, if they write you poems, like they appreciate a good love story is what I'm getting. Okay. I'm hearing the song love story by Taylor Swift. So I do feel like it's going to be kind of like a, like Romeo and Juliet. Like, wow. Okay. So let's see what we have here. Um, Okay, I'm picking up for a lot of you. Um, okay, we have the Hierophant here. Okay, so this is my marriage card. Um, I'm also picking up on, though, that you guys could be getting out of a past heartbreak when you meet this person, okay? Or I'm also hearing like you're going to be giving up on love around the time you meet this person. And it's almost like you're going to meet this person, and if there is a physical distance, it's going to be like, oh my god, is this really going to happen? I'm almost getting the vibe like a too good to be true. Like, Maybe you usually date people that live near you or that live in your town, okay? And you might even be a little closed off to this person when you first meet them, or they might be a little closed off to you just because you don't really see um, necessarily how this is going to be able to come to fruition, okay? But that's not going to be the case, obviously, because you're going to be marrying them, guys, okay? But you might even get your heart broken a little bit because if they do live far away or there is that distance or feeling of like... I don't know, like the feeling of like, we're not gonna be able to be together, that could be breaking your heart a little bit too. Okay, I'm also getting that your person does have a little bit of self-esteem issues, okay? A little too good to be true, guys. This person, when I heard beast, you know, the beast always thought he was ugly. You know, like, that's kind of what I'm picking up and you come in as Belle and you're like loving this beast, loving this person's personality and who they are as a person. And it's almost like your person is going to think it's a little too good to be true that you, out of all people, would want them. And that's how much this person, I feel like they really think you're just so beautiful, especially with this night card, loyalty, romance, you know, a love of honor. They're going to be so honored that you like them back almost. Guys, I am picking up from your person that um, they could be a little closed off at first to this connection, okay? Because I feel like they've gotten their heart broken in the past. And also, I'm just feeling that, like, they're going to feel like being with you is a little too good to be true, okay? This, def this person I'm hearing definitely is going to put you up on a pedestal. This is the person that will, like, give you roses, okay? This is this very romantic, okay? Taking you out to dinner, you know, buying you gifts, this person likes to do that for people. Um, wow. Wow. Okay. Um, I also am picking up on 
This person, wow. Okay, this person is gonna be super devoted to you guys. This person is not much of like a player. I feel like this person, when they get in commitment, they're in commitment. I'm just getting from this card that they're gonna be so dedicated to you. They're gonna have such a love for you. This feels like a divine connection, guys, but the only problem about this person is their self-esteem is a little low. So I'm hearing almost that it might be a little hard to get to know this person at first. I do feel like they could be a little shy, like at first. They kind of close themselves off at first to people, and then they kind of open up, um, you know, I'm hearing a little closed-minded to the connection. So at first, this connection might not seem like it's going to be able to pick up off the ground. But guys, I feel like this is a divine connection, like you guys are meant to be together. Yeah, the devil in the reverse. This person is going to have to get over a lot of like, um, self, like low self-talk, negative self-talk. Um, I'm also getting that you guys are going to be super spiritual, okay? Which... Probably everyone watching this channel is super spiritual, guys, but it's almost like your spirituality and your positive mindset and outlook on life is going to, you're going to kind of get them in touch with their spiritual side is what I'm picking up on. I'm hearing you prayed for this person. What I just picked up from that card is I'm hearing you prayed for this person. Like you're definitely going to manifest this person. And they're going to be so devoted to you guys. I feel like also you um, kind of had a lot of heartbreak in the past where people like weren't loyal to you. But that is definitely not going to be the case with this person, guys. It's almost like I'm picking up that like you have a line of work or you do this work. Okay, guys, it could be spiritual work. Okay, and you're super involved with your work. I feel like you're super successful. And this person is just going to be so honored that this person that is so successful so confident in who they are, you know, so involved with their spiritual side is going to want them. And that's why I think I picked up on Beauty and the Beast, guys. This person is going to have a lot of self-esteem issues, I feel like, when you first meet them. Vampire. They're going to be super draining about, like, towards themselves. Okay, guys? They also listen to what other people say a lot, guys. So you're definitely going to teach this person how to find themselves. I mean, obviously, if you're involved in, like, um, spiritual work, Let's see what else we have. Wow. Rescuer. This person is literally going to feel like almost like you saved their life. Like you came in and you like offered them like a servant. Like, look, you offered them this new beautiful life. Like, look, guys, this rescuer. Like you come in and just rescue them. Like I'm feeling like you saved my life. Like because y'all like this person is so honored like that you would want to be with them. Okay. And then with the Prince card here, Romantic Charm, this person is so charming. Like, look at this card. The person with the flowers behind their back. This person is always going to be... This person is so freaking sweet, guys. You really manifested a keeper. Okay, this is a charmer. This person loves romance, okay? And I'm hearing this person just loves the idea of you. Guys, this person... Almost is like just going to let you be who you are, guys. Anything that you want to do, this person is just going to be able to let you be who you are, okay? Um, with the bully card here, I am getting that this person likes to bully themselves, guys. This person doesn't think they're worthy, okay? They might say things like, I'm not worthy enough, I'm ugly, you're too pretty for me. But you just don't see that, guys. You see this person's beauty, and that's why they're like going to feel like you saved them. I, I'm almost getting though too, like this person might have a family that doesn't really support their lifestyle or your lifestyle. And it's almost like I'm getting like a vision of this person like kind of leaving their family or their old life to come with you. Like you're going to offer them such like, I don't know, like such new hope in life because I'm hearing insecurity. Like this person is so insecure and you're just going to come in and help them see their true potential and their true power. This is an awesome pile, guys. Okay, let's see. This person, when you, like, this is what I'm picking up on. Like, this person could lack money in their life with the four of pentacles in their reverse, lack stability in their life. Like, um, this person I'm picking up also could have a super mean and malicious family, but it's like, you're going to come in and offer them this stability that they've never had. I feel like they're going to offer you loyalty, but it's also like you're going to offer them loyalty as well. You have the two of cups. You have the three of cups. You guys are also just going to be each other's best friends. Um, 
there's there's not going to be any competition, guys, um, with this Five of Swords. Like, like, but with the Eight of Wands in the reverse, I think this person could start off a little slow because, again, I'm hearing insecurity. Like, I feel like this person has a lot of insecurities, and then you come in and just, like, offer them, stu like, such stability and confidence in their life. Like, guys, you're going to show this person the true potential in life, okay? Because it's almost like you're going to manifest this person, and you're going to be at such a high vibration. I definitely feel like you guys are, like, spiritual teachers, and you're going to teach this person the spiritual way of life, okay? And, like, they're just going to feel like you came in at such an, a perfect time and saved their life. So let's see. Who is pile number two going to marry? I'm hearing like this person and you are going to teach each other intimacy. I do feel like both of you could kind of struggle a little bit, you too maybe, with like body issues, okay? I feel like you both could be a little insecure and maybe you both are kind of going to teach each other how to love yourself and how to love your body, okay? You both could kind of rescue each other. I'm hearing the first flight. So I definitely am getting a flight is involved here. You might meet this person by flying on a plane or I'm definitely getting from that you have like a physical distance. Wow, see, look, great adventures. You have the boat and the sea. So definitely like a physical distance here. Um, you could live overseas and then you have miracles. Um, this person and you are just gonna be like each other's wish fulfillments, okay? Like you're both almost gonna kinda come in at the perfect time and save each other in a way. Um, I'm hearing my Prince Charming. Like it's almost like that vision of like when the princess is like dead and then Prince Charming comes in and kisses them and saves their life. Like you're both gonna kinda feel like you saved each other's lives, okay? Like I'm hearing you're stranded, you're lost at sea and you both find each other. This is beautiful, this is gorgeous. Pile number two, who will pile number two marry? Oh my God. Guys, this person and you are so loyal to each other. Like you're both like servants to each other, but not in a bad way. You have rescuer companion, guys, which says loyalty again. This card also says loyalty. This person is just like, I'm almost getting like you marry this person and this is, this is it. This is your person. You're never gonna marry or talk to someone else once you meet this person, you know? like. This person is just going to stick to you like glue. Like, this is your person. This is your wish fulfillment. Rescuer came out again. Like, I'm telling you guys, you both saved each other. This is your person. Like, this is like that Meredith Grey, Derek Shepard type of shit from Grey's Anatomy. Like, you are, like, wounded child. You both are going to trigger this healing, okay? And then with goddess, this person, I tell you, is just going to look up to you, put you on a pedestal, and just, I don't know, be so honored that you would love them. Okay, guys, so I feel like you're, you're both going to kind of help each other grow, get out of your insecurities, and kind of get out of your own way, and kind of teach each other, you know, like body positivity, and how to love yourself, you know? And like, this is just, I'm hearing like such a divine connection and such a divine love going on here. A um, lot of messages that came through, guys. Please let me know down in the comments if that resonated with you. Um, make sure to subscribe, like the video, and um, follow us on social media. That is going to be linked down below and check out our spiritual shop. Um, and yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and move on to pile number three. Hi, beautiful souls that chose pile number three or the guardian angel tarot. Welcome. This is going to be your reading on who you will marry. Okay, guys. So we're going to be tuning into, you know, what they're going to look like, their personality traits, and just all of that good stuff. So let's hop right into everyone that chose the guardian angel tarot or pile number three. Who will you marry? Who is pile number three going to marry? Okay, so this is going to be someone that you meet out of the blue on a whim. I don't think you've met this person yet. Okay, this definitely feels like someone new that's going to be coming into your life. Um, I'm hearing an earth sign. Okay, so you could be an earth sign. The person that you marry could be an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, this person, okay, 
This person almost feels like they're gonna come in with a lot of stability, okay? I'm getting like with the earth vibe, they're gonna be super stable. I'm hearing you're a little flimsy. I kind of feel like for my pile number threes, you're kind of lost right now possibly in the world, which isn't a bad thing, but I'm not sure if you know what you wanna do yet, okay? Or like when you meet this person, you're gonna kind of be like looking for a job or like trying to find your life purpose or like, I don't know, you're gonna be like trying to find yourself whereas this person's kind of gonna come in like already knowing who they are and like already having a stable job, okay? And it's almost like um, they're gonna trigger something in you to kind of help you on your journey to finding who you are, okay? I'm hearing this person is gonna help you grow into who you truly are, okay? So this person is gonna help you see your divine potential. So I kind of feel like you seeing how like stable and accomplished this person is, like who you marry is kind of gonna inspire you to kind of feel that stability, confidence, and accomplishment within yourself, okay? This is a divine soulmate connection. Okay, an artist. Okay, so I was kind of picking up, this person is gonna be super creative, super like um, confident in who they are and super stable and grounded, okay? They could have even a lot of money or a lot of, you know, financial stability. Um, I'm also picking up, like I heard like film equipment. So this person could be like in the film industry, okay guys? They could be a YouTuber possibly or some sort of artist, okay? Um, they also could make music, so kind of take that how it resonates. An artist in like all shapes and aspects, okay? Um, this says expressing, you know, like I feel like they're gonna be super confident in who they are. And look, you have this volcano at the bottom of the deck and it's almost gonna trigger you to kind of explode into your true potential and who you truly are. This person I feel like is gonna kind of help you vibrate to a next level. Okay, so let's see. I'm also hearing this could be a twin flame connection. It almost kind of feels like when you meet this person, you could be a little frustrated, like trying to find your way in the world. And this person is kind of going to guide you into what you're going to be doing, okay? I don't know why that's coming through, but this person is almost kind of going to guide you into like, I'm hearing like your life purpose or what you're truly meant to do. I'm hearing divine inspiration. Again, I channeled inspiration at the beginning. This person's almost gonna inspire you to kind of level up in your life. Wow, a mediator. You know, this person could definitely be like a therapist, someone that you talk um, on the phone with late at night. You know, like this person's gonna kind of help you, you know, it's not gonna be like anything like a codependency or anything like that. Um, but I do kind of feel like this person is kind of going to help you work through some of your issues of not being confident enough or not being able to like know what you want to do next in your life. And they're kind of going to help mediate and help you work through that. Um, with this card here, with this person laying in dollar bills, it almost kind of feels like this is your person. Like they're super accomplished. I'm hearing they're super high up. They could be like a CEO or like a boss. Okay. This person has yields a lot of power. Okay. Let's see, who will pile number three marry? This person's definitely gonna be very comforting, okay? I'm hearing crying like a baby. Um, so, wow, guys, see what I was channeling? Reaching your destination. This person's gonna kinda help you find your path in life. That's just the main, it's like their accomplishments and their stability is almost gonna kind of inspire you to, um, open up to your own potential and that's weird that um reaching your destination is coming out which is your light is shining brightly i'm almost getting with crying baby you definitely could have a child with this person okay which is really exciting let's see what else i'm picking up on hmm. This person is definitely going to like show you your true potential so you guys could lack some confidence or like i don't know just lack not lack creativity, but lack confidence in your ideas and stuff. And it's almost like this person is going to teach you how to be comfortable in your own power and be comfortable in your own skin.
I feel like I'm almost kind of getting like when you meet this person, you could be like, I'm hearing damaged goods. Like you could be in a super low point in your life. I'm hearing like this person is going to try not to tear you apart. This person is definitely going to try to uplift you guys. This person definitely feels like a super sweet, soft soul. This person doesn't feel like they get mad very easily because I do kind of feel like your you kind of fluctuate emotionally and you're kind of in these moods of up and down and this is going to be like the perfect person to kind of help balance you out guys um let's see i feel like i'm hearing you guys have been in a lot of situationships where you just like i almost am getting for pile number three that people say you're too much you're too this you're too that you're too you know you're too all over the place and this person is just kind of going to understand you and you know, they're not gonna, I feel like a lot of people in the past have treated you like you're crazy or like, you know, I don't know that you're all over the place. I feel like some people in the past, I feel like you guys have been in super toxic relationships that have kind of made you believe that you're not good enough and that you're not confident enough, which is simply not true. And this person is kind of going to help you get out of that state of mind. This person definitely feels like they're going to help you change your mindset and like help you rise into your true potential who will pile number three marry spirit i'm hearing christopher you could marry someone named christopher or chris this person could really like the wilderness you might go camping with this person i'm picking up on This person could get a tattoo of your name. This person could also be a tattoo artist is what I'm picking up on. Let's see. I'm almost getting like, guys, I don't know, like you're at a point when you meet this person of wanting to give up on life. And this person is almost going to help you become more flexible and to try new things and kind of open yourself up to the potential of your life and like what's come like I don't know like it's almost like you lack confidence pile number three like when you meet this person it could be reversed energy so please take that into account but I don't know it's like you lack confidence or you lack power or you lack trust within yourself and this person is going to help you find that again okay like I don't know this person is going to help you find that power, that confidence again. I'm hearing crystals. So you guys could, um, let's see. Wow. Wow. We have seeker guys again, like opening up a new path. Like this person is going to open up a new path in your life. Or like when you feel lost, this person comes in and kind of helps you find out who you are again. Okay. This person is definitely an artist. They could garden. Okay. They could be into plants is what I'm picking up from this card or just be some sort of artist. I also was picking up on tattoo artists, but you have the child card. Okay. Helping you find your inner child again, helping you find what lights you up again. Okay. We also have detective and this person has like their eye, like helping you be a detective and search and like find out what you want to do next in your life. Okay, guys, this person is the creative type. Okay, I'm picking up they could be a Pisces um, or a water sign. Okay, but they really could be any sign. I'm hearing crystals and divination. So either you're a very spiritual person. Okay, or this person is also super spiritual. Okay. I'm hearing a crystal shop. You could own a crystal shop or something like that, or you might open up a crystal shop or open up a business. Okay, you might open up a business with this person. Maybe that's what you're going to find out what you really want to do is be a business person. Who is pile number three going to marry? Your divine counterpart. This person is going to trigger something in you. Okay, this person is going to trigger something in you. They're going to trigger an awakening within you. Like at, at your lowest point, this person comes in and helps you find your path again. See, they open the doors of life again, answering the call. This person is going to help you almost. And then you have begin now. Take your first step. This person is going to get you out of a dark hole. I don't know. That is just the whole message of this reading, guys. This person is going to be such 
an inspiration to you to help you get up and get out and go find your true purpose. Okay, guys? I'm hearing the phone, so you guys are definitely going to talk on the phone with this person a lot. I'm hearing you could work at like a phone store. I'm hearing Verizon or T-Mobile. I don't know why. That's just coming through. I'm hearing a device. This person could be an inventor, okay? Again, this person's highly creative. Maybe you're an inventor, okay? I keep hearing the creative type. Who is pile number three going to marry? There's something, there's a significance about your sister-in-law. I don't know if you're really going to like your sister-in-law or really not like your sister-in-law. Inner strength. Guys, I don't know. The message that's coming through, this is, you know, this is kind of a shocking message, but it's like this person's going to um, help you find your inner strength again, your inner confidence. I don't know. That's, that's just what's coming through, guys. They're going to help you be able to see your true potential. The nine of abundance, they're going to help you step into that nine of pentacles energy of like feeling confident in yourself, guys. I don't know. That's just the whole message that's coming through. And I think it really is a beautiful message. I'm hearing they're going to teach you the way to live. I feel like you guys could have some de default settings of like believing you're not worthy enough and believing you don't deserve to like manifest abundance. But this person's completely going to change your outlook on life. Um, this person could be a spiritual teacher as well, I'm picking up on. It's just this person, guys, when they come into your life, I do get a sense of you being a little bit guarded, okay, when they first come in, okay? Because, I don't know, you're just in this state of mind of like... I don't know, no one understands me, everyone always makes me feel bad, but like, you're eventually just going to open up to this person, and they're going to make you feel like no one else has ever made you feel confident and worthy, and like, this person is going to help you like, get back your power and get back your confidence. I kind of sound like a broken record at this point, so let me see if there's any more messages coming through pile number three about who you're going to marry. This person is definitely going to like, I'm getting like, wow, wow. Okay. I don't think there's anything else for me to say. We have engineer. So again, this person is definitely creative. We have guide. This person's going to be a guide in your life. Um, and we have addict. So you could be a recovering alcoholic. You could be a recovering addict. And maybe you meet this person um, at a time when you're getting over an addiction. But that addiction to me, that addict card, could just also be like negative thinking and stuff, okay? Um, so yeah, um, this is a beautiful pile because it's almost like um, when you're at your deepest, darkest point in life, this person comes in and shows you the light of day again. Um, so pile number three, that was a very like specific message. It kind of felt like, please let me know down in the comments if that resonated with you. I think it was a beautiful message that came through about who you're going to marry. Okay. Um, so yeah, let me know down in the comments if that resonated. Make sure to subscribe to our channel. Click the notification bell so that you get notified every time we upload. And please make sure to like the video. Um, also, make sure to follow us on social media. All of those links are going to be down below. And check out our spiritual shop. That is also going to be, be linked down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was able to give you some insight and guidance about who you're going to be marrying in the future. And I will see you beautiful souls on the next one. Bye, guys.